Hello, I'm Doug Peters, the chair of this year's nominating committee of the Michigan Dental Association. I'm here to talk with you about the nomination process for the 2020 MDA officers and trustees, as well as representatives to the ADA House of Delegates. The 2020 MDA House of Delegates will also elect a new ADA trustee to take office in 2021 following the ADA House of Delegates meeting. The ADA 9th District trustee position is rotated between Michigan and Wisconsin every four years. The job of the committee is to seek out and produce a slate of qualified candidates for the May 2020 House meeting that reflects the diversity of the Michigan Dental Association. The four open officer positions in 2020 are President-Elect, Secretary-Treasurer, Editor, and Speaker of the House. The current Secretary Treasurer has indicated that he'll not seek re-election. In addition, there will be at least four at-large trustee positions elected, as well as the ADA delegates and alternates. One of the trustee positions is to complete the term of Dr. Rhonda Hennessy for the 2021 term. The other positions are all three-year terms. Serving as a member of the ADA delegation is an opportunity to gain insight into national issues meet new colleagues, and experience the ADA annual session in a whole new way. It's a great way to provide input and be a decision maker on the national level. As a member of the MDA board, you'll receive more information on legislative happenings and the trends occurring in the profession. You'll hear about both challenges and opportunities to make a difference, plus you'll interact with your colleagues, develop new friendships, and foster great working relationships across the state. As members of this profession, it's so important to stand out as leaders in our offices, in our communities, and within organized dentistry. Whatever your personal experience with leadership may be, the MDA needs you. The MDA is seeking diversity of viewpoints and would like all perspectives to be heard. Applications will be available on the MDA website by September 1st. The application includes a description for each open position along with a conflict of interest statement that must be signed and returned with the completed application. If you have any questions about the open positions, I'm always available to speak with you. Contact information for myself and Michelle Cruz can be found on the MDA website. Applications will be in a fillable PDF form that you can save to your computer, fill out electronically, and return via email to MDA's Michelle Cruz, along with the current CV and the completed conflict of interest statement. After you have submitted an application, I'll contact you to confirm that everything is in order and to see if you have any questions. The sooner you file an application, the better. We anticipate closing applications November 1st, 2019. If you're interested in applying for an office after that date, your only opportunity will be submit your name by nomination from the floor of the House meeting in May. This is a great opportunity for you to share in the future of your Michigan Dental Association, for you to step up and be a leader. It's a very worthwhile experience to become an MDA leader and personally rewarding. So what are you waiting for? Start thinking about your role in MDA leadership and be ready to start the application process on September 1st. I'm looking forward to hearing from you.